Is it Annabelle out of Wisconsin, first time caller? Annabelle. Hi. How you doing, Annabelle? I had a cousin I'm named good. Annabelle. Oh, really? Yes. Uncle Dubba C's daughter. What, what was that? Uncle Dubba C daughter named, one of his daughters' name was Annabelle. I've never met anyone else with my name, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, my first cousin. Cool. Yeah. Go ahead. So I was just wondering, you talk a lot about how men can change themselves and be closer to God and everything. Yes. But I was wondering what advice you have for women. Annabelle, that's a good uh, question. Number one, human beings cannot change themselves at all, not one iota. And number two, the same advice for men applies to women. And that is they got to drop the anger. They must forgive. Because women, uh, most women hate their mothers as well, but they've been told yeah. that they hate their father. <laughs> so what now? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. And so if they go, if they get to realize that the same spirit that's causing you to hate and do things that you don't want to do, that's not right. It's the same spirit that was driving your mother. And because you become like what you hate, so the spirit in you came as a result of you resenting or being angry at your mother, right? And so if you can go and forgive your mother, don't ask for forgiveness. Don't be talking about, Mama, I love you. You don't love Mama. Angry people have no love. But forgive her. She couldn't help it. Then God will forgive you. He will draw you back unto him, and your life will be amazing. But you got to forgive. No, you can't get into the kingdom of heaven within, meaning that you can't have peace on earth as long as you have anger, because anger is the nature of Satan. Even if you read the Bible, you know scriptures upside down, even if you believe Jesus is God, whatever, you're still going to be miserable, no peace, because you have the anger in your heart. It's, a, it's that of Satan. So if you, yeah. for, if you forgive your mother, Annabelle, you will be able to for, return to the Father, to God. You'll be fine. Is it hard to forgive your mother? Um, yeah, just because I still live with her. I'm 19, so I still live at home. And I don't know. It's it's hard because she's just kind of like she's struggling with her relationship with God and everything. And yeah. Well, she's struggling uh -huh. with the devil. She's not struggling with God. Anyone who is, str <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who is struggling... They are lying when they say they are struggling with their relationship with God. They're really struggling with Satan because Satan is their father. Once you let that anger go by forgiving, struggles are over. Life is paradise on earth. But Annabelle, you need, I recommend, do what you want, but before you move away, you need to forgive your mother and, and return to your earthly father. Otherwise, you're going to get used by men. Yeah. Has that already happened? Uh, kind of. What do you mean, kind of? Well, that like I don't know. I just, you had I, sex I try to stay away from guys, so. <laughs> you try to stay away from them? Why? Well, just like, I'm not like going out dating or anything. Have you had, um, oh, you're 19, right? Have you had sex already? Yeah. And Why? Um, well, it was actually when I was like around 15 and I just felt like an external pressure to kind of figure out what everyone was talking about. <laughs> and I regret it now, but <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. And why do you regret it? Well, I just like after it happened, I just knew that it wasn't the right thing to do. Yes. And yeah, it was just like, it was so dumb. It wasn't even special because it wasn't with someone who, like, would love me and protect me or anything. It was just some guy. Well, Annabelle, I urge you, because you sound like a, a young girl who's on the way to the right place, I urge you to forgive your mother. And Does your father live with you? No, he actually, my parents are divorced. Oh, man. Um, he's got, like, alcoholism and problems with drugs, so... 
He's well, kind of in and out of the picture. Well, that him having on drugs and alcohol has nothing to do with his love for you. Do you love your father? Yeah, yeah, I do. He's a really, he's a really sweet guy. Did you tell him that you you love him? Yeah, I actually forgave him right on. this summer, and it did bring me a lot of peace. Yes, it's a little harder with my mom. <laughs> yeah, but once you go and face her. I'm telling you, your life is going to open up for you, and it's going to be amazing because God will take the anger away from you, which is Satan nature. And when you go and live on your own or live out into the world, then the men can't take advantage of you because any man that want to have sex with you before marriage does not love you. He hates women. And if a man has sex with you before marriage, he would cheat on you after marriage. So be sure not to have sex with another person, a man, until you get married. Date first, get to know this guy, and see if it's the guy was sent to you by God. If it's not, let him go. Okay. If he tried to have sex with you before marriage, let him go. He doesn't love you. He hates women. Mm. But you got to face your mother. You got to put your feet on solid ground and just let her know I, uh, mother, I resent you because you're just absolutely crazy and you're <laughs> annoying. <laughs> you're annoying, you're imposing, you're, you're scared, you're freaking out, and I resented you for that. I realize now, mother, that you cannot help yourself. I'm sorry for holding that against you. I become just like you, and I'm sorry for holding that. I understand now what's driving you. And forgive your mother. And if she accepts it, fine. If she doesn't, fine. But you forgive her so you can be free. And then a new generation will start with you. When you do get married and have children, it'll be a different generation, a greater, a better generation starting. Wow. That just makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> just, uh, thank you for the advice. Yeah. And uh, are you doing my silent prayer? Um, yeah, I tried it um, one time. I haven't been doing it a lot, but I, I tried it, and it is really nice. Yeah, stay with it. The last thing that Satan wants you to do is to be still and know God. He wants you to be hooping and hollering and praying. He wants you to use words. He wants you to think. He wants you to quote the Bible. He wants you to play church, play Christian. The last thing he wants you to do is to sit, be still, and know God. So do the silent prayer no matter what. Uh, morning, the first day in the morning, the last day at night, and just watch. It's going to be amazing. But you got to forgive your mother so God can put, draw you back unto him. I'll do that. And if she start yelling or crying or nothing, don't worry about her. Let her do it because it's on your mother to re repent, not you. She need to, you need to repent for your soul, and she need to repent for her own. So if she doesn't accept it, just wish her well. Just don't be angry at her. And okay. speak up, but don't resent. Thank you. Annabelle, will you let me know how it goes? Yeah, I will. Yeah, how did you find us? Um, through Get a Job videos of Get, the Savage Moments. Oh, those, <laughs> those are amazing, huh? Oh, my gosh, those kill me. They're so funny. <laughs> I know. I can't believe it when I watch them. They are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, want, I, I urge you to deal with your mother. Don't have no physical fight with her or anything like that. Just be honest with her. Realize she can't help it. Forgive her, and you will become Annabelle and not your mother. You will be you. You will be a daughter of God, and life will be amazing. Okay. All right. Will you let me know how it goes? I will, yeah. All right, Annabelle. 19 years old. You're on your way. God bless you, all right? God bless you. All right. You're welcome. Amazing. Thank you for that.